What's up guys, Matt Beck here from freesaloneducation.com. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how to shift weight in curly hair. I'm gonna show you guys the perfect layered curly haircut uh, and a really easy technique to do it. We're gonna break down everything from what scissors to use, also how to lift the weight in the vertical line, and also how to shift the shape in the horizontal line. So you guys don't wanna miss this haircut. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the haircut. And also don't forget if you're confused by any of these haircutting terms and all of that, we have a haircutting system called the FSE Digital Haircutting System available on our online store, Shop FSE. You can go there, it's a digital download. Again, right after this video, go to shopfse.com and download our digital haircutting system. Let's get started with the video, here we go. Look at this, how it just kind of builds and gets big in the back here. That's what we want to address and adjust and work through. I'm gonna be doing dry cutting and I'm gonna be using my dry cutting scissor. This is the Mizutani Puffin. So you can see the thickness of this blade compared to a regular precision cutting scissor. The benefit that comes with having a thick blade is when you go to cut dry hair, it's going to smoothly go through it. It's sharpened a little bit differently. And also cutting dry hair can dull your scissors a little bit. So I'll clip the hair away a little bit. What I wanna do is I wanna start by building a guideline. Elevation is what's going to bring the vertical shape either up or down on the head. So when you look at her straight on and you decide, what do I want this shape to look like? Do I wanna remove some of this weight here um, to kind of lift it up? See how that just changes the side of her face from it being flat like that? So what I wanna do is I just wanna lift this shape up, skinny it up a little bit. So how do I do that? I do that with elevation. How do I change this shape? Where do I want this weight to shift? Do I wanna skinny it up in the back and push weight to the front? Do I wanna skinny it up in the front have a little extra weight in the back? Do I want it to be balanced all the way around um, and kind of open up the face a little bit more? That could be a, a goal as well. So my thoughts for this haircut today are to keep this shape nice and round throughout the cut, but then in the front, I want to lift this shape up. How do we lift the shape up? I'm going to take vertical sections all the way around the head and work my way through. I'm gonna start in the front. So let's say um, if we wanna look at this at like a clock, we're gonna start at 12 and just work our way to one, two, three, four. Uh, that way we're working our way around and we're keeping now that horizontal shape nice and balanced. Then we work nice and high with the elevation to get the layers. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna work kind of a, a pinwheel effect all the way around the head. So I'm gonna go top wide teeth of the comb so that I don't disturb the curl pattern too much. And then I get my section up and I'm just gonna comb a little bit into the hair. I'm gonna point cut into this section. So right here, I come through and I'm gonna start to point cut in. So here, now I'm going to come still straight out from the head and I'm gonna start cutting into it. I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of comb through it and then pinch this section together and then work through. I've got a little bit of a guide from the previously cut section um, and I'm just gonna work through it and point cut a nice line into the hair. This is gonna to start to lift the shape up. So you can see already, when you look at the one side, how flat it lays and how heavy it lays, and this side, you can already see how it starts to lighten itself up. If I wanted to push heavier weight into the back, what I would do is overdirect forward and cut into this. And then that would push the hair back. If I want it to be balanced and round throughout the, the side, then I just come straight out from the head and cut there. So I've got my guide, go through, and I cut. If they're gonna wear it curly, then it's good to just kind of work your fingers through it, keep it from frizzing out. And I'm working the hair through my fingers and making sure that it's all kind of sticking up. So I'm kind of combing it. It's just probably the most relaxed form of combing there is. And I just make sure I get a blunt edge on all those curls. And then when I drop it down, I start to get a nice little stack in the layers. 
So my elevation is up above the head, right? And the higher it goes, the shorter the hairs on top will be, but the higher that, that weight line will be. I want it to be a little bit in the middle. So I'm going more 90 degrees throughout the crown area. And I go through and blunt cut that hair. Same thing, just continuing working around the head. And this last little bit, this is right in the front of the head. So you can see that shape already changing, lifting up, right? Okay, so now that gave us kind of our outer perimeter, the horizontal, it lifted it vertically. Now I'm gonna add some of the finishing touches to this haircut. So we'll do a little bit of that tease cutting technique. For me, the top layer here, I can go in and I can just soften it. So as I grab some of these little bits of hair out, I'm half closing the scissor in like that and just softening the edge. It just creates a really soft feel to the edge. So again, through here, and I'm not even worried about this fringe area yet because I'm gonna do that last. And I'm just softening the last little bit, this weight line that could be created throughout the top. I wanna open up the face kind of like that with the clip. Um, so we're gonna go in and change it up a little bit. So right here, just for this little triangle spot in the head. So here's her parting. So this little triangle bit right here in the front of the head, down the hairline right there, that's the only part that we're going to do this technique on. I grab the triangle right here, kind of right at the eyebrow, the edge of the eyebrow there. And I bring this entire piece over, this entire triangle over, and this is gonna be the longest part, right? So it's gonna fall out first. And then I go in and I tease cut. You could also point cut that as well. And that will start to lift that fringe area up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. So that lightens up that edge, starts pushing it that way. And I grab a little piece here in the front. And I just soften that. Soften it and shorten it a little bit. So then I had a little bit of Paul Mitchell extra body. For me, I like this to even be in just a little bit more. So I could go right here and just individually shape up some of these pieces. Now, again, if they're gonna wear it straight uh, ever, then I would comb it and go in and do a little bit more precise. But if they're gonna wear it curly, it's nice to have it have a little extra movement. All right, guys, so I hope you liked the haircut. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Make sure you hit the like button. Share this video with all of your friends out there. And remember, if you need any tools, the Tri-Razor FSE digital haircutting system, you can go to our online store, Shop FSE. Helps support the channel. And one last thing, I started a virtual cutting club. It's 10 bucks a month. It's on my Patreon. So you go to patreon.com slash Matt Beck. We meet once a month for, pri for private classes. And then we also, uh, you get exclusive content. You get content before anybody else does so it's a pretty cool club plus you can ask me questions uh, privately through that messaging system as well so go join the patreon 10 bucks a month again patreon.com slash matt beck thanks for watching today's video i'll see you guys on the next one thanks